welcome to GameDemo.com's review of the Orange Box. It comes with a teen to mature rating for blood gore, intense violence, and language. It comes from the makers at Valve. And what you get is Half-Life 2, Episode 2, Episode 1, the original Half-Life, Team Fortress 2, and Portal. Let's talk about Half-Life 2, Episode 2. Like in the original Half-Life, sometimes uh, the lights go out and you need your flashlight. What's different about this one is you have a helper that follows you around, this chick. Sometimes the uh, light loses power and you go back into the dark and you wander around bumping into things in the darkness until you click your light on again and... Oh, excuse me, Ricky. Ricky, I did see what you were doing. It felt good, didn't it? It's all right. We all have feelings like this sometimes. I'm just glad you're doing this in the privacy of your own room. Okay, let's give Ricky some privacy and talk about Portal. Portal is a puzzle game, single player puzzle game. You create entry and exit points with this gun. There's an entry point, exit point. Now if you notice, as I look into the entry or exit, I see myself. And then if I enter it, you sort of get the idea. If I create one on the ceiling and I look into it, you see myself looking down at myself. And now you see the cool effects that can be generated. Now the reason for this, or what happens behind this game, is that it's puzzle based. You have to accomplish these puzzles. I won't uh, show you any of these. I finished the game. It took me a couple hours to get through it. Uh, I don't want to show you the puzzles because basically it ruins the, uh, the game for you. I wish there was a single or a multiplayer version of this. Somehow my thinking is to incorporate engineers and these uh, portal carriers to compete against one another. All right, now the meat of the matter, TF2. You get to choose a red or blue, or a random. Once you choose your color, you choose your class. Uh, Scout, he's fast, he's got a shotgun soldier, rockets, and he can do the rocket jump. Pyro, you can torch stuff, light stuff on fire. Demo man, you shoot nades. Heavy weapons dude, carry around the machine gun, he's uh, got a lot of armor man. Engineer, you can build turrets and resupply depots. Medic, you can heal people and shoot them with some sort of virus as well. Sniper, obviously snipe them. And a spy, you can cloak yourself as well as become uh, one of the enemies. And now let's talk about the scout. Super fast, as you can see here. He can do a double jump. You can get a little higher than uh, other classes. Carry around this shotgun that uh, is pretty powerful up close. Here you'll see me run over the demo man's uh, little nades and blow up. The soldier, we've got the uh, rocket launcher for the soldier. You can do a uh, rocket jump, basically what you do is you point it into the ground. Now I'm getting torched by a pyro there. With the rocket jump, you sh uh, point it into the ground, jump, and press the fire button, and it sort of propels you higher. Obviously, you take damage when you do that, so you want to make sure your health is up. There, I just resupplied myself and put that fire out. Get the sniper, get the sniper, sniper down. Alright, there's an engineer reloading. There he is, not looking. Boom, liquefied engineer. Next up, Pyro. Carry around these, this torch. That was a spy, disguised as my engineer. I lit him up. He burnt like a marshmallow. The demo man. You got two options. You can shoot these uh, nades that explode on impact, and then these other ones that become sort of sticky. These are the ones that explode on impact. The sticky ones will uh, attach themselves to whatever they touch, and if the enemy runs over them, they'll uh, blow up. And the turret's there. We got a turret taking me out. 
That was built by the engineer. Now I'm talking about the heavy weapons dude. The heavy weapons guy carries around this machine gun. It takes a little bit for it to spool up. He's got more uh, health points than the other classes, but he's still get taken out by that uh, turret or engineer. Now let's talk about the engineer. This is my favorite class. That's a portal. The engineer can build entry and exits. I went in the entry and obviously came out the exit. He's got a uh, pump shotgun. Doesn't do too bad. I'm gonna build a dispenser. This allows people to be rehealed as well, as well as uh, rearm them as well and uh, supply them. You can see that sniper just got some health. Gonna run up here and a spy invisible is gonna come up behind me and knife me. I'm down. The spy killed me. If you want to see Medic, Spy, and Sniper, I suggest you go out and get this game. I can't fit them all in here. Alright, let's talk about the pros and cons. Pros, it's five games in one, one of which is TF2, which we've been waiting for forever. The cons, in one word, Steam. Our rating, this is five games in one, well worth the bang for the buck. And it does come with TF2, which we can't believe is actually here. Portal's a nice addition, and as well as uh, Half-Life 2, uh, Episode 2. So well worth the money. We uh, highly suggest, my wife loves when I say that, that if you like first-person shooters, you run out and get this one. And it's available at GameDemo.com's Amazon store. It won't cost you anything extra, and it'll help pay our bills. Keep my wife happy.